Hello everyone. I've got a bit of a different video today. So I've been working on a fork of a blender for a while, maybe a month or so. And I've been trying to do this edge group thing for multiple bevel modifiers. Um, it's something that like I want and apparently a lot of other people want. This thread is so old on Blender Artists. I think it's seven or eight years old. And all it says is like, I wanna be able to non-destructively put in two bevels on a hard surface. So I do hard surface modeling myself, so I understand exactly what this would be used for. And up until now, it hasn't been possible. But then a few days ago, I noticed this guy Hologram posted this YouTube video. And the last question, say, hi, Pablo, awesome news. Um, looking forward for the upcoming, for the coming updates. Cinnamon 3D says, I have been trying and time and time again to bring this to your attention. Too long didn't read. We need support for bevel modifiers to have multiple weight profiles so that we can have multiple bevel modifiers with different weights or edge groups instead of the one single bevel weight. Well, um, might not be a huge deal. I, I can't say that from the perspective, I, I don't know, developer. But internally, there is now this concept of attributes, right? An attribute has a domain. Domain can be an edge and the data type can be a float, like level weight from so I love this guy and thank you to the internet for pointing this out to me because when I saw this, I was like, okay, it's exactly what I want to do. So I did a fork and really it is not huge changes on top of Blender 4.1 because they changed how the bevel weight works. Like in 4.1 alpha, if I bevel an edge, it comes into this attributes as a bevel underscore weight edge. And I thought to myself, that's cool because the bevel modifier is already just pulling an attribute. What would happen if I created another attribute and then just tied it to it? So that is exactly what I did. So I'm gonna do a quick example of this both in 3.6.1 as well as 4.1 alpha. Um, I'm gonna do the new version first because it's really cool, um, but there are some important things to talk about. So let me use the normal bevel weight edge. So let's go ahead and throw in a bevel. I'm gonna apply my scale and let's do weight, okay? So this is all normal so far. And let's say I just wanna do these edges. So I select my edges, hit control E, edge bevel weight, set it to one. All right, pretty standard stuff. Here's where things get weird with 4.1. And actually, there are a lot of people on the internet that are very confused and very sad about AutoSmooth. On this Blender Talk post, there are 220 replies. And I don't know if you guys spend much time on here, but usually there's not that many replies on a post. And people are generally very concerned about how AutoSmooth works in 4.1. It's now a modifier only. It has been totally removed from the Python interface. You cannot set mesh data to be auto smooth and you cannot set it by angle in the mesh data. It is only a modifier. So this video is not about that specifically, but I will show how you can actually get auto smooth shading on this in 4.1. All right, so let's do it. I will put the normal modifier smooth by angle and maybe like 50 degrees or so. And then you have to shade smooth, okay? So because the normals aren't hardened, it kind of looks bad. And then here's the other thing that does not work. I might open an issue for this, but because of the order of operations now, because it's a, like I need the smooth by angle to happen after the bevel modifier, but it's now in the wrong place for hardened normals. Like this looks wrong, but anyways, I can get around this by just doing a weighted normal, right? So if I weighted normal, set, set it 200, keep sharp, yay, it all looks good again. So everyone is happy now. So to do my actual multiple bevel here, I'm gonna put in another bevel, so generate bevel. I'm gonna drop it at the top. I'm gonna do maybe five segments at one meter and we'll do by weight. And now you see this custom weight field. This is what I added. So let's just call this, I don't know, test weight. And all we have to do is come down to the attribute data, create a new 
edge float called test weight. Hit OK. Come in here and I select this edge and I will do F3 set attribute. I have to click this first actually. Then I go F3 set attribute and set it to one. So this is like super, super cool. We now have non-destructive uh, multiple bevel bevels happening. Like I'm so happy with this, honestly. And you can do more, right? So let's say I wanna bevel these edges with even a different modifier. Let's create another modifier, have it come before this one. We'll do weight, I'll call it test two. So I just come in here, I press new edge attribute, we'll call it test two, and then go to my modifier and we will call that test two. Then I select these edges, make sure test two is selected and then go set attribute one, and then you're done. So now you have all these different bevels that you can control independently, um, change the segments on this guy. You're still gonna get clamp overlap and all those different things, but like that would be happening anyways. So you do obviously have to be careful about how you're generating the geometry and where you place things. Um, that one in particular is causing this guy to clamp. But, but yeah, that's the quick workflow. So let's go to 3.6.1. How would we do this the old way? Well, first we drop in our bevel weights, right? I'll do those same edges. Um, I think I did these like outer edges here. And we'll bevel weight that throw in a modifier, we'll do weight, and that's good, auto smooth, that should be okay, and then we harden normals. The only sad thing is that harden normals probably won't work in 4.1, uh, which is a bummer, but whatever. And then you just bevel this, so if I want my, my five segments here, then you just destructively bevel it. So it looks exactly the same, it's just this is non-destructive, so I think that is super duper, super cool. If you are a Blender developer and you happen to be watching this, can you please help me figure out how to make this UI better? Um, I basically want a dropdown for selecting an edge float attribute, kind of like the um, thing that's in geometry nodes. So if you add an attribute to a geometry node, you can select the attributes from the list. I just want to filter this. So I don't know if that's possible or if it can be done, but please help. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a bit different. Let's hope we can get this feature in Blender 4.1. It would be awesome for hard surface modeling.